just realized that intro was incredibly dark. Will Gin TV be able to resist <laughs> death? <laughs> Suddenly this has turned into a fantasy game, but a you got a little saving throw here, man. <laughs> uh, what's his I, I wonder what Gin TV's constitution saving throw is. I, I, reckon he's, yeah, I reckon he's got a plus three on that. He's got to be up there, man. If he could play 15 hours of Clash a day, he's got a good solution. All right, so we do see a Furnace, a Dark Goblin, and a Prince. Doesn't really reveal much about the deck so far, but the Royal Ghost here closes uh, closes down that Furnace. Uh, minor bats. What are we seeing from these players? It uh, looks... I think Jinty Hawk Cycle game. for Benzer Rydell? Maybe? Could be... I, I think Jin TV is playing Pekka, right? That looks like a Pekka deck. I no, no, I see Mega Knight. Mega Knight? Oh, it's that Mega Knight. You can kind of fit Mega Knight or Pekka into this deck. Right? Basically, all those seven cards you see there for Jin TV fit with Mega Knight or Pekka. You can run either. Yeah, I didn't think so. You're accepting them, Royal Hogs, I guess. If you're expecting Royal Hogs, yeah. you go Mega Knight. Yes. If you're expecting Golem, you go Pekka. He could have Royal Hogs here for sure. I can't see in his hand. All I can see is the poison. And I can prince. prince, yeah. yeah. Move your finger, Benzer Rydell. Come on, man. Oh, he's going to play one of them shortly, surely. The bats are being toyed with here. As the Royal Ghost gets taken out by the Prince, the Prince is going to charge into the Electro Wizard. There is a Miner coming in the back, distracting the Electro Wizard. He's attacking him. The Electro Wizard splits his attack and still takes down whatever was behind him. <laughs> yeah, so far so good for Benzer Rydell. He's got a slight advantage here, but Jin TV really not too far behind. Okay, there is the Goblin Gang from Benzer Rydell. They won't do much. The Royal Ghost will clean them up relatively quickly. Yeah, but Benzer Rydell does have an advantage here. 1,402 remains. And the Prince is going to take out the Royal Ghost here, then charge down and get taken out by the Inferno Dragon. Furnace comes out. The Fire Spirit's going to do some work if they can get through, but the Electro Wizard takes care of them almost instantly. Yeah, are we going to see the Mega Knight come down? He's opting to just do the minor poison here, catching the Furnace in the thing as well. But the Dark Goblin goes behind the poison, now walks into it and dies, but did some decent damage there to the Miner. Yeah, 1,534 in that top left-hand tower for Benzer Riddell, and 1,186 for GTV. Yeah, hard for Jin TV to find a moment to play the Mega Knight here. There's no real reason so far. There it is. Now he wants it to soak up that damage from the Prince. The Electro Wizard does go down to the Poison, and that bottom tower for Jin TV is down to 886. Yeah, and the Minions sneaking in that side. And the Miner, the Minions, they're going to town. Oh, but the Mega Minion goes for the King Tower, but it doesn't matter. The Inferno Dragon finishes that tower with the help of the Minions and the Miner, and Jin TV takes game number one here. What was Benzer Riddell's last card? All right, so it is Jin TV versus Benzer Riddell again here in, oh man, I can never remember the order. Game number two. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get there eventually. There's a right? lot to keep track of. Yeah, so a love there for Cycle and a minor played by Jin TV is like, I'm not going to be cycling anything. And there's the Valkyrie, takes it out. Three hits there, not too bad, but obviously that's, three more hits than you want. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's not the end of the world. This Valkyrie is going to get burned down by the Inferno Dragon. Does not get a swing in. The Hunter here to counter by Benzer Rydell. Okay. Generally speaking, we see the Hunter paired with Pekka or something. It could be Mega Knight as well. Yeah, but Hunter does really well if there's anything in front of it that'll take all the damage because the spread. Ooh. And there's a Royal Hawks. Ah, yes, of course. The Mega Knight comes down for Jin TV to counter these Hogs. Very well timed. Yeah, that is why you choose Hogs over Pekka right now. Is because the Pekka just, it's single target. It's not going to deal with those Hogs as well as the Mega Knight does because he just jumps on them and they are bacon. Right. This Mega Knight will end up going down to the Hunter after being kited by that Ice Golem, but a Miner coming in here, doing some damage and pulling the Hunter over. Yeah, the Hunter almost walked completely past him, but does turn around just in time to finish them off. And here's the Hogs. The Hunter behind will, will defend pretty well. The Logs come in, seeing if he can get, and he did get the Electro Wizard, so these Hogs are pretty high here. They're going to town. The Hunter is doing a little bit of pellet damage to that tower, as well as the Inferno Dragon. It gets one more shot off, and that's 830 HP remaining. Ooh, very nicely timed there by Benzer Rydell, recognizing that Jin TV would not be able to counter with the Mega Knight that time. He just 
wasn't able to get to it. So a ton of damage coming down here. Yeah, a small window of opportunity open for Benza, Benza Riedel. And he manages to just force it open and deal so much damage. And all Jin TV has managed to do so far is minor damage. And there's three Musketeers. Who needs Pekka anyway? Okay, well, Mega Knight does decently against the three Musketeers once he gets in onto them. But this Ice Goal in place in front of them, he will soak up so much damage for them. And the Fireball, too, comes in and cleans that up. Three Musketeers doing the job they needed to do here. The Electro Wizard is going to slow that down. The Royal Ghost is going to get something done, but they do get a couple of hits. 594, 510 remaining. Miner in the back, instantly answered with a perfect Hunter placement. Great, great insight there to play that. Yeah, now this Hunter is going to clean up this push from Jin TV. Excellent job by Benza Rydell there. Jin TV trying to find the right cycle where he can get back in onto Benza Rydell's tower, but it's, he's finding it really difficult to do. Yeah, so this time Benza Rydell decides to go for the one two split on the opposite side of what they were before. And the Four Hawks, they're charging in. Is the Mega Knight there? The Mega Knight is there. Does get one hit and the log damage done. So this Mega Knight now is all that Jin TV has. He has to make this push the winning push because yeah. I don't think he's going to be able to defend again. No, this is going to be so hard. A lot of it's going to depend on what this Hunter does here. The Hunter is getting a couple shots off of the Mega Knight. The Mega Knight gets in on it, but it does finish the Mega Knight because of the Princess Tower damage. Yeah, but look at the damage Whoa. on the other side. The Royal Ghost, the Minions, the Miner, the Miner MVP, they're doing so much work. 670 remain, but 367. All he needs is a couple more hits here from these Hogs, and that will be a 2 3 That's it, he's in fireball range. But the Inferno Dragon on the other side, that was so close. The Inferno Dragon had connected. It was about to finish that tower as well. Oh my goodness, Jin TV and Benza Riddell. I think Benza Riddell takes it. Deciding game here of set number two. It's Everything's on the line here for Chaos Theory. If they lose this, they lose the match. If they can win this, we will vote the King of the Hill. Electro Wizard coming down here for Jin TV. A royal ghost from Benza Rydell. So, so far, ooh, the bandit here coming from Benza Rydell. Have they been taking a leaf out of who we played before? Brent Esports' his book. Was it Brent Esports? Yeah, Brent. yeah, it was. Brent Esports' his book with the Bandit play here. Yeah, definitely, you know, the Bandit, very popular with P.E.K.K.A. decks as well as Mega Knight decks. So it's it's a very valuable unit. You get so much value out of those charges. Here comes the Battle Ram. Battle Ram doesn't get anywhere near the Mega Knight, is there to answer the call, stops that dead in its tracks as the Princess Tower behind takes out the minions. But a P.E.K.K.A. Whoa. P.E.K.K.A. And that one like, minion. Didn't get caught by the Princess Tower. It's just outside of range. That's actually doing a lot of damage. Yeah, and I can see that the Archer is here. This deck has been doing pretty well, I think, in Grand Challenges lately. Yeah. Uh, Pekka with the Magic Archer behind is so good. And the Bandit on the other side. Split push in here. It goes for the Miner that was placed in the middle. Oh! Perfect zap. That allows the Pekka to get one, two hits on that tower. 1,122 remaining. And this is looking like we're going to go to another King of the Hill. Yeah, Mega Knight versus Pekka. Pekka's going to win that battle a lot. So this is going to be challenging here for Jin TV. He has only the, his own Royal Ghost, but those swipes are hitting his tower as well. Yeah, the Jin TV's Royal Ghost there didn't push it quite far enough. It was kind of sideways. And that allowed the Royal Ghost to reach over the other Royal Ghost shoulder and deal damage to that tower. 474 remain. The battering ram doesn't make it, but these barbarians have nothing ground-based to stop them. The Electro Wizard does that for him. And the Miner comes in. The Bandit is there. Doesn't get the charge on the Miner. And that's not good. The Royal Ghost is getting a hit. Gets one hit and then taken out by the other Royal Ghost. All right, so let's see what Jin TV has here. He's down by quite a bit, but a decent little push there to at least get some damage done on the Benza Rydell's towers. The P.E.K.K.A. coming down immediately to counter the Mega Knight. The Mega Knight going to, ooh, okay, might jump onto the Archer here. Poison coming down as well for Jin TV, but just in time, does he change directions? Jumped onto the battering ramp. The P.E.K.K.A. In the, in the back there, getting taken out by the Inferno Dragon, but there is a Barbarian and three minions. They get zapped, which means they're going to die instantly to a Princess Tower. The Royal Ghost needs to keep all the damage off that tower. Jin TV has a lot of defensive work to do, because if he takes any more damage on that bottom left-hand tower, this game is over. The Bandit comes close. And oh, the Magic Archer gets oh. an angle. It gets one hit, two hits. 
Let's get the three. That means he's in fireball range, but he doesn't have fireball. The poison will finish it with the zap. That is it. Benzeridel, the, the magic archer got the angle it needed. Two, three hits, poison zap, done.